Okay, so this next video is going to be a part of what will probably become a series. I'll try to make a playlist for this or link the various videos down in the description. And this series is going to cover some of my exploration with using inside of Z Shell and PowerShell using OpenAI's API, using that to suggest commands. And the workflow that I've been working on, specifically a workflow that makes it very tight to be able to ask a question right from the command line, not have to switch to another program and then get the command right there at the command line, not have to copy and paste something. So in this first video, we're gonna take a look at how I set this up with Z Shell. And then in later videos, I'll look at PowerShell as well. And then after that, I'll also explain how this is actually set up. All right, so I've got this repository here with some images inside of it. And some of these are checked in, whereas others of these files are not yet added in. And so let's say that I want to check in these SVGs and I wanna add them so that they'll be stored in Git LFS. So let's start out here. Let's say I don't remember how to do this, but I want to start out by just showing the files that are currently in LFS. So I could do something like show LFS files. So I type out my little question here, if you will, and I can hit control B. This is a widget that I set up to use the OpenAI API. I can ask one of the models available, in this case, GPT-4. And you can see it gives me back a command here, get LFS LS files. And if I run that, you can see I have my JPEGs and my PNGs and those are already stored inside the repository inside of Git LFS. So now let's say that I want to store the rest of the files that are not yet added, the SVGs. Let's say I don't really know how to do that either. So how do I add SVG files to LFS? Control B, ask the question again, and I get back a command, get LFS track, looks about right. And if I look at the status here of my repository, I can see in that case, it modified the get attributes file. And if I want, I could run a diff here on that get attributes to see what it did. And now I can confirm that that looks like the appropriate thing to do to track SVG files. And of course, I still have my SVG files here. They're not yet checked in. So let me go ahead and add those. Now, let's just say I want to check if those will be added as LFS files. So how about I do something like show all files that are in LFS? Control B. Okay, let's run that. And that fails because we've got the back ticks on here. Sometimes it returns markdown. I've been working on trying to get it to stop doing that, but it looks like I have a new case to handle. Okay, so once I've done that, you can see the SVG files are listed here, which means it looks like if I run a get status here, it looks like these will actually be stored in LFS. Now I do recall that there's some way that I could look at a get status for LFS specifically. Let's just say I don't know what that is. Show me how to check get status of LFS, control B, and there you go. Get LFS status, run that. And you can see the files will be committed. And those are all a part of LFS. You can see the little LFS indicator right here on each of the files. So anyways, this is a way that I've envisioned to perhaps look up commands that I don't quite remember the syntax of, don't quite remember maybe the subcommand or an argument to that. It's a nice way just to type out a question and then control B to ask a GPT-4 model and then get back a command that should do what I want. And I've got it all integrated inside of the line editor in ZLE. I'll explain this in a future video how that works. But basically my thought is, show all files that are images, control B. I want to get the command right here where I could just run it. And hopefully it gives me everything back. In this case, it's not actually going into a subdirectory. So maybe I could modify that command and say for sub ders2, control B again. Hopefully it modifies the command. Oh, wow, that is quite complicated. But in that case, it works. So when it comes to asking a question, I don't want to leave my shell. I don't want to have to pull up a website and talk to ChatGPT. I just like to get the response right here.